Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Austria. Now, uh, well, we've got some harvesting going on here. Um, and I think I still might have uh, a bit too few, uh, too low of a population for the amount of work that is doing. Um, <clears throat> right. Uh, now what I, I, I really want to do, I need to get the population um, up a bit. Uh, and that's what these houses are all about. Uh, but I'm also seeing a lot of um, pausing from the uh, the the people as they uh, they do things, right? Um, now I'm not sure that uh, I think it's just that my uh, my game here is uh, uh, just a little bit um, too much stuff going on here and uh, I think my computer can't keep up at the higher uh, game speeds right I think that's uh, that's a fair chunk of it I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but as you can see I've managed to get the uh, all of the zots here largely under control so that uh, is definitely helping uh, meanwhile, uh, I think I've determined that maximum sized fields might be just a trifle too big. Uh, that's what these ones are. Uh, at least for the uh, labor force I have. Now, okay, now if I take a look up here, I don't have any people that are unemployed. And that, um, that does kind of... Uh, well, it gives us uh, some sort of an indication that I definitely need more uh, laborer types. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to adjust the laborer's wage up. I'm going to pay the laborers a little bit more. Uh, because they don't work uh, necessarily consistently. By paying them more, I can have more of them sitting around idle. I'm going to drop the basic monthly wage of regular employees just a little bit. Now, I think that's going to mess up the economy, but we have enough exports that uh, that shouldn't be a uh, massive problem. Now, here, all the trees are planted, so we'll disallow chopping. Um, yeah, okay. So, we're, we're, we're good there. Okay, so, uh, while the harvest is ongoing, I'm going to check in over here, uh, right, but well, let's, um, slaughter some of the bulls here. I'm keeping the cows because they, they make the, uh, milk, right? Uh, now, the bull... Uh, okay, we can get rid of that and that. Yeah, we're good there. Now, over here, get rid of those. Yep. Then we go over here. Oh, we got lots of them here. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're good there. And over here. Okay, and we got one more cow shed. Uh, get rid of those. That's okay, that's good. Right, okay, so that gives us um, <clears throat> work for the uh, slaughterhouse, and then, now, the t now what do I have here? I have uh, hides, loads of them, uh, right, I have loads of them, uh,
Okay, so I think I probably... Oh, I, uh, I have two tanneries running. Yeah, and they're uh, they're running at uh, max capacity. Okay, so I've got uh, two tanneries, uh, so I'm gonna have plenty of no no that produces. Now what's that? That's a shoemaker, leather. Uh, how am I doing for leather? I got lots of it. Shoes. I'm making those. Um, right, and over here. Weaver's Workshop, Taylor, okay. Uh, hemp. Eh, we're not overly swimming in hemp, but, you know, we can make shoes, so... So that's good. Wait, you... are unemployed. Huh. Oh, you're 10. Okay. Right. Now, how are we coming with our uh, harvesting here? We've got our guys working, but we don't have enough of them, right? Well, let's see how well everything goes. Next uh, speed up. Okay, we've got some to collect here. Uh, we got some harvesting to do here. You know, I think I'm going to go in uh, higher options. I'm going to uh, maximize the uh, allowed laborer slots. Right. Okay. That's not going to speed up the uh, the process any here, but it will definitely uh, allow us to uh, possibly run uh, a little bit more uh, when the uh, demand uh, diminishes, right? Um, yeah, the harvest is uh, progressing. Uh, we don't have, I think, enough uh, laborers to get all of the fields uh, harvested by um, by the uh, next uh, by December. Uh, I'm not sure that we do. Uh, you know, and that um, see, that's bad planning on my part, right? I was a little too focused on the economy and uh, not enough focused on uh, just how uh, how much uh, we would end up with uh, a labor shortage, right? Uh, now, if I go in here, uh, no, if I go in here, in here. Um, if I get rid of all but two builders, that gives me five more potential laborers. Uh, that could go a lot further to, uh, completing the harvest than one might think. We're almost finished, uh, harvesting that field. What are we, uh, growing? Hemp. Okay, no fields assigned there. Right. Oh, right. I needed to wait until the the season was done to change the field assignment. That's uh, that's what I was doing there. Right. And that's why those haven't been touched yet. Right. Okay. Right, okay, so these ones, they're just gathering. Yeah, these ones, we're still harvesting. Let's uh, go take a look over here. These ones are done. 
Uh, right. That's uh, moving along. Okay, well, it's uh, it's progressing. Uh, you know, this is uh, something here. Um, just watching the uh, the guys uh, or the uh, the people do their thing, right? Oh, we got another house. Um, and we have a messenger. Okay, um, well, we can sell sunflower oil, deal, um, uh, let's see. Well, we can sell sunflowers as well. Let's do that. Buckwheat. Meh. Yeah, we'll do that too. Um, yeah. Well, that seems... Uh, that seems okay. Um... How much does importing hemp cost? Not much. What about textiles? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll close that. We got a new family came in, so yeah, population is uh, increasing, right? Um. Okay. What do we? Uh, so things are moving. That that's good. Um Hmm. Well, uh, where are we at here? Okay, we got one plow over here now. Uh, that's uh, that's good. Um, farm assigned. Okay. Can we do this? Can't assign during season. Right. It ha the harvest has to be done first, right. Okay, so this one's just about done. Yeah, it's pretty clear I need to get uh, more uh, livestock in as well. Uh, I could get more uh, more cattle. Because uh, they, they could use the pasture, right? I could. Uh, I don't think I'm going to, though. Yeah, I really want to get, uh, get, like, chickens or something going. Well, we're, uh, we're, com okay, we've got, uh, more fields completed. Yeah, we're down to 80, uh, extra worker demand so yeah that's uh that's good okay that field's almost done and then it's down to gathering that field's almost uh, is getting yeah okay yeah we're making making progress it might get most of the fields harvested by the end of uh, november 
Uh, I'm not sure, though. Uh, I'm not sure that we will. Anyway, uh, where are we at here? Um, yeah, it's definitely a labor shortage, so I just need to grow the town. So I'll work on that. Uh, and, uh, right. What does a uh, counselor do? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure I understand what a counselor actually does. Uh, we need a whole bunch of stuff there. Oh, uh, something I wanted to check on. What have I got in here? Okay, I got a bunch of stuff in there, so so that's uh, that's good. Um, well, for some value of good, what is this white line here? I think that must be a debugging thing. Anyway. Right. Uh, where are we at here? Well, we're doing okay money-wise now. So, so at least there's that. I think part of the problem is we're so far away from the uh, the resources now um, that we uh, we don't uh, that it takes forever to deliver anything. But anyway, uh, you know, interestingly, uh, on the uh, the Discord, I think it is. Uh, no, not the Discord. The um, Steam forums for uh, uh, for. Um, Ostriff, yeah. Uh, there's a guy that's uh, trying to run a uh, self-sufficient village where he doesn't uh, import more people. Uh, you know, just natural uh, population growth. That's an interesting uh, idea. It'd be interesting to see how that, that plays out. Uh, that um, isn't necessarily uh, the smartest way to, uh, to play, but It'll be interesting to see where he gets. Um, he does have a problem, though, is that uh, he might need to import iron to uh, just build more houses, right? Nails and stuff. So, uh, so probably uh, for a minimally a minimal import would be some amount of iron, and to import breeding stock for uh, animals. After all, you have to import breeding stock for the humans too. Initially, that's your first nine uh, families, right? Uh, so yeah, so so you've got that. Uh, it's uh, you know it's just something to uh, to you know keep in mind, right? Uh, it would be interesting to see where he gets with it. Uh, you know, he's making uh, making progress, I'm sure. Uh, and that's um, kind of uh, kind of uh, you know where things are at. Uh, what I'm I think I'm going to do myself is I'm going to play this for a little bit longer at least, you know, to see where where things end up. Uh, but what I want to do is uh, is, uh, is see if uh, uh, see if I can uh, I want to get the population up. I want to see how big I can get the population after the village still function for one. Uh, but uh, what I'm uh, I'm thinking. Uh, the next major update that uh, comes from comes for Ostriv, like uh, I don't know, uh, major new map or something like that. And there is a new map actually. I might play a different map actually on the next game. I probably will. Uh, what I'm uh, I'm thinking is uh, I'm going to see how long this um, this game can uh, go, and if it goes long enough, then I'll uh, I'll. I'll wait for the next uh, update and then start a new map there. And that might be Alpha 4. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it might be. Uh, you know, this is Alpha 3, right? 
Uh, and the next major update, I think, is going to be education. Um, education and health. Those will change the, uh, the game, right? Uh, so it'll be fun when uh, education and so on is in, because that will change the dynamics. Especially if the education buildings have uh, resource requirements, right? Uh, they'll certainly have staffing requirements, and uh, that will, of course, uh, affect things. Okay, see, you see here, the pausing at the uh, field entrance here. That's got to be a pathfinding uh, delay. Um, yeah. Yep, pause after picking up the uh, uh, resource as well. Yep. It looks like everything's going to get harvested this year, though. Uh, yeah, it does kind of look like everything's going to get harvested this year, so that's good. Now, is this one finished so I can reassign it? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, there's still stuff in there. Okay. Yeah, this one didn't grow very well. Um, it didn't have a lot of time to grow, right? With the uh, plowing, though, and uh, if, I, if I get more cattle, I can put them out on here on the fallow fields, right? Uh, it might be worth getting getting more cattle. Like, I have the cow sheds. I don't have to import the cattle to do it. I just have to build the cow sheds. So, so what would I need? One, two, three, four, five. I'd need six uh, cow sheds, right? Yeah, I would need six cow sheds. Now, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six of them over here. Yeah, six more cow sheds would uh, would uh, help that out. Now, is harvest gathering done here? Yeah, I can reassign it now. Good. Um. Now, what were you this time? What are you... Okay, I'm going to have to reassign these uh, field things. I can't... I can't the, okay, that one's on potato, right? Potato. So that... Fallow. Potato. So this would be... Hmm. Well, I'll be able to reassign it, and then I'll be able to uh, restart everything. So this was potato oh yeah it's gone to hemp okay so we just need the uh, the harvest to be picked up this last basket here yeah good so this one actually got finished so that's good um, so now here we can link it to this farm good now uh, we're doing hemp we're doing fallow and we're doing potatoes. Okay, good. Um, yeah, that should uh, divvy up the labor a little bit better because uh, there'll be five workers that can work on that uh, regardless. Uh, ah, we got the house here is being built as well. Uh, so that's good. Now we've got unemployed people and that's fine. Uh, we can have unemployed people. I'm okay with having unemployed people. Uh, having unemployed people means we have a labor pool for laborers, uh, you see. And as we've seen, we really need like a hundred laborers to do the, uh, the farm fields well. Now you, all trees planted, that is, get rid of it. Okay, now we'll go over here and... Uh, plant trees um, yep we can do that we can do that we can do that and we can do that what did it do is it gonna crash oh no good what did it do what oh okay um, right. That was a nice, uh, pause, wasn't it? Okay, now, 
Uh, we're in at the end of November. Harvest is done. We made it this year. Uh, as I recall, last year we didn't. Uh, and, uh, you know, that does that was its thing. Now, what I can do is I can go over here and I can hire back the builders. Yeah, I'll hire back the builders. Uh, so I'm thinking um, bring, letting the builders go and harvest was probably, uh, probably why we got through this year and we didn't last year. Because it was pretty close. As the snow is flying now. Okay, yeah, we've actually got work vacancies here. Uh, wonder if that's because the population's getting older. Okay, that house is going to go up, and then it will almost certainly get occupied immediately. I wonder how much those pauses are actually slowing down work. Yeah, I do do kind of wonder. Okay, you're here again. Sunflower oil, 739. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we have instantly filled this. These guys were locals that needed a house. Nice. Okay. Well, that won't change the workforce any. Um, but we got another house being built. We got a few more queued up. I think I'm going to need... Oh... Probably... I think I'm probably going to need another couple dozen houses. Uh, not 100% sure on that. Uh, I'll let the ones that I've got queued up finish first. Uh, I want to get it so the harvest is done by, uh, by the middle of October. Not the end of November, right? Now we got one plow here, one on order. Okay. Now that's the uh, smithy. That's the carpentry. One order in the queue. Um, yeah, okay. And we need uh... okay. Well, we're we're doing okay here. Uh, that's that's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you remember if you watched the early parts, but this whole area here was trees when we started out. Um, but we haven't deforested the whole area, so being able to plant trees has made a huge difference. As in the early uh, ver earlier versions of the game, you had to uh, rely on the forest. So you had to plant trees out in the open and they would get harvested, right? Uh, but that's not the case anymore, and that is kind of nice. You can farm trees now, and that's, uh, that's really cool. Uh, right. Well, uh, that was less of a year than we would normally cover in, uh, in an episode, but... Uh, yeah, this here, uh, we got the, uh, we did our micromanaging in our cow sheds. We, uh, planted a new, uh, forest lot. Uh, we got our fields reassigned, which we needed to do. Uh, I need to get, these need to get built. Um, 
And uh, it looks like possibly one of them will be up by the spring. That would be good. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, but we do have unemployed people right now. So uh, that bodes well for the spring planting. We might actually get things planted sooner, uh, which would be good. Um, yeah, that would be really good. Now, if you're wondering, uh, you know, if I've seen discussions where uh, you know, people say that uh, uh, have you know one farm can easily uh, manage uh, half a dozen fields and so on, but I found that having three having three fields per farm uh, seems to work about the best, and then uh, rotating them such that we get. Uh, one fallow and two growing things uh, and plowing uh, it seems to work well uh, so that's what I that's what I've uh, I've done here right uh, different labor uh, things would uh, potentially lead to different uh, results and you know that's fine uh, but that's what I've found works uh, when I've played. Uh, other people have done things differently, and uh, they found that that works. And you know that's that's perfectly fine. Um, I think the next time I uh, I play the game, I'm gonna possibly avoid gridded streets like this. Um, although it is quite efficient, uh, it does. Uh, it does make things a little bit uh, regular, right? Although, uh, as you can see, this village is not not particularly regular. I mean, like, I mean, we have a couple blocks over here. We got some street stuff going on over here. We've got this stuff along the the, the river bank, uh, and this here, like, like, you can't really call this a particularly uh, um, solidly gridded uh, town, right? Um, but I think, um, yeah, I think I'm going to run the housing out. Where's the edge of the map? The edge of the map is here. Uh, so I think I'll run the housing out, out over here. Uh, to the edge of the map. And, uh, and, and we'll, we'll see. Uh, something that might be interesting uh, in the future uh, when, uh, when the game is uh, more complete is possibly larger maps. Uh, although I could see you'd need a pretty beefy rig to uh, run a really large map. So, I'm, <laughs> you know, with this game and Transport Fever 2, uh, even Civilization, uh, maybe I'll load up a Civilization game at some point. Anyway, yeah, with all of these, I'm seriously considering uh, a, new, uh, a new rig uh, which has... Uh, beefier CPU, uh, much beefier CPU, uh, and uh, like going up, like I've got a quad core, uh, and going up to like a 8 or 12 core, uh, and uh, getting a much beefier uh, graphics card. Uh, uh, just, uh, you know, it, well, that'll help with rendering these videos as well, like they'll, they'll render faster things like that uh, so I'm I'm uh, pondering it's an exp it's a substantial investment and uh, I mean, let's be frank I don't have the cash right now but I'm seriously considering it I might uh, I might maybe uh, make the concession of a, uh, a bigger graphics card like more more video memory but that that's a big enough investment on its own and the machine I've got is old enough that uh, you know it might make sense to uh, to just replace it now I can replace the uh, I can replace the most of the machine but I don't need to worry about the hard drives uh, those have been up upgraded a few times <laughs> uh, it's amazing the uh, performance I got out of the machine when uh, 
when uh, when I uh, upgrade it to solid state, right? Uh, we got an empty house. No jobs available, so people aren't coming in. And we clearly don't have any uh, locals that need uh, lodging at the moment. So, you know, there's that. You know, something that would be really cool if it's not in here, and if it is, I haven't found it, uh, would be a, a demographic history of the town. So, uh, a list of uh, who, of births, deaths, uh, move-ins and move-outs. You know, that would be uh, uh, quite um, uh, quite a uh, interesting thing to be able to look back on. Uh, right. Uh, oh, what are we we're building? Uh, what are we building? Where are we building? We're building a Oh, we are building a platform. That's for water, isn't it? Why are you hungry? Because you're broke. What if I do this? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... I think what I might do is at some point here, I might uh, I might turn off migration and build a huge pile of houses, and then see uh, you know once I get my uh, workforce built up just a little bit more, uh, I think I might build a huge pile of houses, and then see what happens uh, with migration turned off. Uh, see how long it takes for them to fill up. Um, I would think probably 10 game years or so would probably get pretty close to filling them up. As the uh, population here pairs off, the kids pair off and make families and so on. Oh, we got an incoming uh, family. Uh, so the house is no longer empty. Yep. Well, that's, uh, that's cool. Um... How's this, uh... Whoops. You gotta press the correct buttons. That's a chick. Oh, I'm building a chicken coop over there. Right. Right, I'm... I'm getting, uh, prepared for the, uh... For the, uh, chicken thing. Right. I've had the chicken coop queued up. Uh, you know, that's that's actually good. Um, I'd forgotten about that, but I do want to try out the raising chickens this time. I tried it previously and failed at it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was uh, just one of those things. I just I tried it and I failed at it, and, you know, that was that. There's the platform going up. And this will provide uh, water for non-citizens. There we go. And uh, then this is next. Um, okay. Yeah, everything seems to be doing okay. Well, uh, you know, it's uh, coming up on spring. Uh, well, I'm going to up the tempo here and see if things still... Uh, still speed up a bit here. Uh, I kind of want to see if the uh, if the harvest uh, or the planting. Well, no, I'm going to uh, save that for next time. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put the cut in here. Uh, next time, uh, possibly things will be slightly more uh, interesting. But uh, yeah, the the village is starting to uh, to regularize again, like even out. So so that'll be good. Uh, yeah, so next time, uh, hopefully the chicken coop finishes and uh, uh, the labor force gets uh, high enough. Uh, once that happens, then uh, then I'll go ahead and uh, well, I'll uh, 
I'll build a whole bunch of houses and uh, see what happens. Anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be all for this time. So uh, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you back next time.